Hey everybody, it's Brian for jailbreakzone.com and in this video I'll be showing you some of the updates to swipe for iOS. Of course it's available for jailbroken and iDevices. Um, in my previous video I was showing off version 0.1.0. It was updated to version 0.2.0 a little while ago. I think somebody on Twitter alerted me of it so I'm gonna go ahead and try it out. Um, now I have played with it just a little bit and some of the, uh, some of the updates are great. Um, for one, you actually get the line on your keyboard, so you know where you're going, so that's very nice. And also the word accuracy is a lot better as well. So I think in my previous video I tried to type, this is a test with the swipe keyboard on the iPhone 4 or something like that. A lot of the words were screwed up, so in this update it fixed a lot of the prediction and things like that. So I'm going to try and type something similar. So this it still says thus and for whatever reason it doesn't add a space after the word is oops let's just go ahead and start over this you know what's interesting is that i don't even go over the u yet it still says okay now it says it so this is okay i'm just gonna start over one more time this is a test you know what Maybe I'm wrong about the accuracy. It seemed better at first, but maybe it's not. This is a test with with swipe on the iPhone 4. So <laughs> and notes just crashed. So I honestly thought that the prediction was better, but it seems like it's not. Uh, it's pretty much the same, I guess, maybe worse. Uh, the fact that it doesn't add a space after your word is very annoying, just slows you down even more than swipe already does. So for me, I would still rather just stick with the regular keyboard. It's much faster in my opinion. But it is nice that the developer is making progress to swipe for iOS, so it's only a matter of time until he can actually get it to where it's actually usable by the masses. So that was just a quick look at a couple of the changes to swipe in version 0.2.0 from Cydia. Once again, I'll put the repo URL down below in the description if you'd like to try this out for yourself. But that's pretty much it for the video. So thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you all soon.